Okay, so this time I'd like to demonstrate uh, a process that we use for developing finger marks on paper, and this is called ninhydrin. Um, and what this is going to do is going to react with the amino acids in the sweat on our hands, and it's going to react to form this bright purple reaction product. So what I need to do is first of all put some of this ninhydrin solution in this processing tray. And to treat the samples, I've got two bits of well-handled paper here. I'm just going to pass them through this solution. Making sure that all of the paper is wetted by the solution as I pull it through. If I just let some of it drip back into the tray and then put it to dry on this tissue paper here. And I'll just do that with the second sheet of paper. And while that's drying, and it won't take very long because this is a quickly evaporating solvent, I'll just tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put both these sheets of paper into this oven behind me and this is kept at 65% relative humidity, 80 degrees centigrade, so we need both the elevated temperature and the moisture in that chamber to actually make the reaction work quickly. And within about four minutes, we should get a reaction that converts those invisible fingerprints at the moment. You can't see, see anything on the paper at the moment. And you'll see this covered in bright purple fingerprints if this goes to plan in about three to four minutes time. And I think we're ready to go actually. So I'll move over to the oven and I'm going to place them inside the oven. Okay, so I think the four minutes is about up now. So what I'm going to do is I open that cabinet and bring the uh, paper samples out and have a look at whether we've got anything. And actually from here, I can see we've got a lot of fingerprints on there. So I'll open this oven. And there we go. We've got a lot of fingerprints developed on these pieces of paper. So very successful.